What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a welfare check. The past two days in New York City have been so hot, so steaming. I was going through it, so I know my plants were going through it as well. The crazy thing is, all winter, they've been begging for warmth. They've been begging for humidity. Now they get warmth and humidity, and everybody want to act crazy. I saw in my grow tent that a couple of plants started growing some mold on them. In the last video, you've seen that some of the plants were growing fungus in the substrate. So I'm going to just be going through the plants to see if everything is everything, if everything is copacetic or not. Before we get into the video, please be sure to, well, I always got to do that every time I'm asking for something, <laughs> but please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you end up enjoying the video. Please follow me on Instagram at jasmina.lo, coochiecapitals.com for the merch. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right. Okay, okay. And my bedroom is where Tyrone resides. I had to move Tyrone to the bedroom. Tyrone is going to do some things. So I'm going to put the clip of how Tyrone is looking right here in the video. Um, I had to cut off a bunch of leaves. He had a new leaf coming out and that rotted off. But one of his other plants has a leaf coming out and that's taking a while to come out as well. But um, I'm hoping that everything is everything with Tyrone. And the thing about Tyrone is that if he dies, <laughs> I'm gonna just go get another one. So that's him. And he's the only plant that I have in my bedroom for the time being. Now, as far as my living room, that's where I have my shelf. So I'm just gonna check on all of my anthurium and see how everybody is doing. I moved my anthurium up here because I wanted to see. I wanted to see if I like them, if I moved them to a different location. They used to reside on the bottom shelf, but the shelves have the um the shelves have these domia lights, and as you can see on camera, it looks yellow. It looks yellow in person. They are very warm lights, and I kind of don't like that. I mean, I feel like, I don't know if I, I kind of do like it, but at the same time, I don't like it because the warmth of the light makes me think that the light is weak and it's not working for the plants. Even though I know it is because I can see the plants growing, but I just feel better having my plants or my forums mostly up under them sandy lights. So the top of the shelf has a sandy light. And yeah, so I moved my anthurium up here and they have been doing fine. This is my anthurium, what is this? Waraquianum esmeralda. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to sell my anthurium. I am gonna sell them. <laughs> like, I still am gonna sell them, but I do need to take some pictures with them before I do that. Do a couple of photo shoots, do a couple of reels and all that, get that done. So, you know, I have to have memories of my anthuriums because, and then I'm wondering, do I want to sell this one? Because I really like this one. Girl, she thinking about it. But anyway, I just wanted to look at the, um, I just wanted to look at the substrate to see if there's any funny business going on. That's like at the bottom with the water reservoir. Sphagnum moss and pond. So that's sphagnum moss, pumice, lava rock, zeolite, horticulture root charcoal. Little pearl, like you know, I just throw everything in the mix. Excuse y'all. Wow, it's so nice. No, this is nice. And you know what I think it is? It's because I can't see them. If I had a coffee table, like I want, I could sit my anthuriums on a coffee table, have a little lamp on them, or some type of light situation happening for them. I'm not gonna go in the huh. This is my anthurium magnificum verde. Don't really like it, cause look at it. It's crinkled and crumpled. It has been like this since I got it out the package. I thought once it got hydrated, it would plump up and you know, iron out. But it hasn't done that. It's just looking like this, so. Okay, but look at the roots. This is what I'm gonna show y'all. Wow. Look at, that's thick. That's thick. All the way down there already. Wow. And then look up here. I had to throw some sphagnum moss up at the top for this root. It, oh my God, look at the root. Hold on, hold on. The root got a bunch of roots coming out of it. And that's a little funny looking. It look a little funny right there. So I don't know, but the roots is coming all the way out of here. So 
we might have to repot this to save him. To keep him from, you know, going through any unnecessary drama or trauma. And I'll repot it right back in here. So we're going to put him to the side. Look at us. We got our first task. All the rest of the anthuriums are good so we could move on. I'm honestly truly hoping that y'all can hear the noise in the background. But if y'all do, please excuse that. I live somewhere where people have no regards for others. Okay? People do not care about peace and quiet around here. None of that. They don't give a fuck around here. So please excuse the noise if you hear the noise in the background. I'm going to do my best to edit it out. But... Okay, back on track. So the anthurium's good up there. At the end of the video, I'm going to go through the shelf and show y'all, you know, what the shelf is looking like. I'm going to do a little shelf tour. Because it do look kind of nice right now. I threw my little crystals up there. It's real full. It's real heavy. And that's how I like it to look. So I'm going to go through and grab what I need to grab and show y'all why I'm grabbing it. But then at the end, I'm going to um, hit y'all with the, with the visuals. This is my... What is this? This is my Monstera Adansonia. I put it up on this little, um, this is a mess. I tried to just do a little staking situation, but I ain't do nothing but put this down in the rocks. This is the chicken strips, the chicken wire. I put a little chicken strip down in the rocks and then I Velcro the stem to it, which girl, yeah, this looks crazy. This looks like some spinach. I love how it's potted up in here. I'm trying to figure out if I want to take it out of here. I don't think so because the roots, it's not a critical situation as far as root growth. So it's not urgent. But ever since I, let me try to show y'all before I talk. Ever since I put it up on here, all this is new. And this is within the last two days. Not this leaf, but this leaf right here and that leaf. Move so they could see. Yeah, this new leaf right here and that leaf is going right there. Since I staked it up, you can see the little nody nodes up in there. Yeah, I, I'm going to put him to the side because we need to work on him. We need to get his life together. I have to do something. I have to do something about my Monstera Sota Bacania. Look at it. Got this from Cuttings. I had to save my plant. I had a big plant. I told y'all before, I used to call this the Monstera Rumpelstiltskin. Because it's still to Bacana. I don't know what kind of name that is. But I'm pulling him out because he has this going on. It looks... How does it look? Is, yeah, is, does that look nice? But yeah, this is what I'm trying to show y'all. I mean, it might look nice. I don't know. But what I was thinking is that I need to repot it and stick this down in here. Because it just won't stay. It won't stay down in there. I had it wrapping around like that. Try to do that, but that ain't working. Now let's check to see if it got them little balls in. Nope. No little balls. So I'm going to put them to the side. I might do something with them. I might not. My man Jula Pathos just started growing. I'm not going to take him out of here because I don't want to disturb him. But this is the new growth right here, and that's all it's done. Oh, no, I'm lying. I'm lying on him. Here she go dropping rocks. But this is new right here. These two light ones right here, no? This one. Because I think this was in like a two inch. I don't even think I got this in a four inch pot. I think this was in a two inch. So he's doing his best. The roots and everything. Can y'all see without the ring light blinding you? It's roots and everything. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm not going to do nothing with him today. I showed this in a reel, but this is my, what is this? String of turtles. This is my string of turtles. He used to just be a little bloop. He wasn't even hanging over. I'm going to really put the picture because I'm proud of it. So I'm going to go look for the picture as I'm editing. And I'm really going to put the picture this time. But this is my string of turtles. So adorable. So cute. Somebody call a marketing and advertising department and tell them they get on a job. CoochieCapitals.com. It's a little muggy mug. Real cute. Real nice. I threw my plant in there because I'm not a coffee girl. I don't drink coffee. I can't drink coffee. And it's crazy because I love Dr. Pepper so much. And you would think that caffeine is caffeine. But no. Coffee caffeine will have me like panic. I'm really not a coffee girl. I can't drink coffee. So I use my little mug for my string of turtles. This is what I do every time a turtle fall off. I just put it back on top. 
propagate them. I'm gonna put him to the side so I could put some mosquito beater in them. I have a question. This is my, yeah, one of them things is on here right now. So I, I have a question. This is my, you know what it is. It's gonna take me a minute to get it, but you know what it is. This is my Hoya Macrophylla. Okay, doing good. Let's talk about the good things. New leaf, new leaf. No, lie. New leaf, new leaf. Okay, so what I want to know. Do, do mealy bugs, because I'm trying to figure out if that's a mealy bug. Focus. Do they walk or do they not walk? Because every time I see these things, I don't see them moving. It just looks like some fuzz. Now that I look closer... Shit, it do look like a bug. So, my question is, urgent. This is an urgent message for a nigga named Willie Jones. My urgent question is, do mealy bugs walk? Because I do see them little things on my Hoya. Here and there. It's not too much to where I see them on every leaf. I usually just see a little, a little white fuzz on the stems or whatever you call these. But now that we're here... If the case that is a bug, I'm about to go get the alcohol. I don't want time. All right. Just in case y'all like seeing this too. You know what's crazy? I'm using my phone. Now I'm scared. Hold on. Just get it, girl. Where's that? Right there. Oh, hell yeah, that's some bugs. Hell yeah, that's bugs. Hell yeah. So where do they be coming from? I think that was just two of them. Hold on. Let me keep the alcohol close. I'm gonna keep the alcohol close and throw this in the garbage. So the mystery has been solved. Those have been mealy bugs, the little white fuzzes, but I'm just so confused as to why I never see them walking. I always see them at a standstill. Oh, it's another one. Oh, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They got me fed up. Hold on, because we not doing this. And it's only on the Hoyas. I never see this on the other plant. Oh my God, my Hoya, whatever it is, Car Carnosa, yeah, that's a big one. So if it got mini bugs all over it, guess what? Guess what? That ass is grass. That ass is grass. Where I just seen that, oh, that shit right there. Oh, nah. See, this one don't look like no motherfucking fuzz. Ah! They need to make longer Q-tips. They need to make longer Q-tips. They gotta make longer Q-tips. Oh, shit. My hand is too close to this mother. Bitch. They gotta make longer Q-tips because I do not want my hands close. Oh, them shit. Them, them motherfuckers is on there. Yo, it's some shit going on. Hold on. Ho Get the camera. You let me know if I'm bugging. Look at that leaf right there. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. That's a bunch of, that's a bunch of baby ones. That's a bunch of, that's a bunch of baby ones. The main thing is just to stay calm. Don't panic. I got my shot glass. Where we at? At the shot glass. I'm gonna pour the alcohol up in there. We about to get they ass. We about to get they ass. Hold on. All right, got the Q-tips. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, realistically, realistically, I want to tape the Q-tips together so that I don't have to have my hand so close to it. But listen, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Okay. I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. She's a gangster. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. We back in, we back in there. Get, get bodies. Bodies dropped. Bodies drop, little bunch, little bunch of bodies floating in there. Oh nah. All right, Hoya Carnosa. This is the one I said. If it got mealy bugs, that hole gotta go. 
But at the same time, though, I don't want to throw my whole your car nose out. It's so nice. So listen. So listen. Hold on. I'm going to wipe them away. But do they, go in, do they go in the substrate too? Because if they living in there, me wiping. Look at this cluster. This cluster of, um, I don't know if that's one, but I'm wiping anyway. This cluster of leaves right here. That's what I was trying to say for the longest. I don't want to touch this shit. I'm not picking the whole plan up. There's just no way I'm doing it because this is not what I was trying to do in my day. I'm going to rewipe this little leaf right here. And then they attacked my little new leaf. Like, come on, son. Now I got to alcohol him down. That ain't right. He just hopped up on the scene. Anything white is getting white. Anything white is... Anything white is getting white. Hold on. Because it's too hot for this. Now y'all got me. Now y'all got... I don't even want to touch the leaves to move the leaves to see if it's a bug. All right. That's the best I could do. I need more my alcohol. They gonna me you. Y'all said I don't show me you enough. So here she is. That's my cat. Look, I'm tired of me you ass, okay? <laughs> That's why I don't be showing her that much. She get on my goddamn nerves. The moment that she realized I'm up and I'm doing something, she's gonna go to her litter box and she's gonna scratch around the litter box for like 10 minutes. I swear to you, because she be wanting attention. I went through a true battle because how my damn strings untie themselves? So... Oh, we went through a lot. We went through a lot, but I pulled out, what, four plants? So first I'm gonna start with this, what's this called again? Anthurium Magnificum Verde. And the, first of all, let me look at this well as well, because that's the one thing you really gotta check for. Because it's never really safe in these streets. Why I grow like this? And who likes this? Y'all like this? Y'all like how this look? I'm gonna repot it right back in here. I just need to my goal is to just get the roots down. My sphagnum. Sphagnum. My life would be so much easier if I just go ahead and say sphagnum. But nope. I want to say sphagnum. Sphagnum. Oh yeah, this got roots everywhere. Okay, I think we could let the stick go. I put it on the stick because when I first got it, it was not supporting itself at all. But this is about to be the moment of truth to see if he can support himself. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna try to show y'all everything without making a mess. Today's goal is to not make a super duper big mess for myself to clean up. But you see them big ass roots sticking up at the top right there? Yeah. I need to get those down deeper into the pot. Oh, this is nice. I don't really want to take everything apart. So I'm gonna just let it rock like this. Um, we still got everything in here, but what I can do is take out that last layer of corn. that I almost ran I we I was gonna run if the bug was on my hand but I almost ran that's just a piece of charcoal so yeah this is what I'm this is what we're working with I just want to put him down further in there and then he it's looking like he wants some water I'm not making those kind of accommodations today so he's gonna have to sit in what I got him in but I'm going to just throw everything back in here. I'm going to use the stick. I'm trying to see if it's mold on the stick, but it's not. It's been in here for like two, when I got these in April. April. I was really about to count down from April to what month we're in now. We're in May. <laughs> like, where was I going with it? After April is May. So one month, the stick has been down in there. And it's no mold. Oh, unless that dark stuff, that ain't mold. That's like dirt. Oh, some I don't know. Oh, I'm going to just use the stick to push the palm down around the roots and everything. You really got to be in the mood to 
repot plants and stuff because one thing that I don't like, I don't like having my hands wet unnecessarily. Like say I just wash my hands and then I do something and my hands get dirty and I wash my hands again, that aggravates the fuck out of me. Or like when you just cool, calm, living your life and then you gotta wash dishes. And it's just, I don't know, I just do not like getting my hands wet when I don't feel like having my hands wet. It's something weird. Let me know if you if you go through that too. Well, you just don't want your hands to be unnecessarily wet. Like during COVID, when COVID first popped off and we had to wash our hands a hundred times, yo. <sighs> terrible times, PTSD. I'm not gonna bring COVID back up, but I'm just saying, terrible times. I don't want everything to be like super smushed. Like I do want it to be airy and have room to move and stuff. So I'm not packing it too, too tight, but I am trying to just get something in those gaping holes. <laughs> gaping holes, I had to say it, sorry. Shimmy it on down in there. Make sure my boots. Got access. There we have it. No roots coming up out the top. They've been maneuvered. They got room to still grow. Everything should be everything. So next for my string of turtles, all I wanted to do was put some of my mosquito beta brand new up in there. So look, I bought this a long time ago. I bought this systemic houseplant insect control by Boni. And the first time I went to go buy it, you look at the Amazon reviews, They this is what I said. They said, well, kill your kids, your cat, your dog, everybody. It's going to kill everybody in the house. It's going to kill the planet. It's going to kill everything. That's what they say allegedly about this. So I didn't buy it. But then when I started doing the YouTube videos, like when I made my plant channel strictly for my YouTube videos, I was like, girl, you're going to have to get something for them bugs because if... I know me. If my plants get overrun by bugs, nine times out of ten, I just will throw it in the garbage, you know? And then there will be no plants, and there will be no plant channel. So I said, ooh, you, you need to get this so you can really get rid of the bugs so that you can stay on course. You can stay on the mission. So I bought this. But then I still never used it because I just think back to when they said it's going to kill everybody and it's going to kill the planet. So I, I, don't, I don't use it, but I do have it. Same company, and honestly, I'm not even about to go through um, ingredients and all of that right now. I really can't. I really don't have time. And nine times out of ten, I'm reading, and I'm still not going to know what to say. But these should be harmless. Should be harmless. I don't see nothing about killing the whole family and the neighborhood and the planet in the reviews for this. I don't know. But this right here, this right here... Get the fungus gnats under control. When I did have all of my plants in soil strictly, this came through. This came through. And what I do with it is I cut it open and I sprinkle out the little granules onto the soil. When I was buying mosquito bits, like the chunks, the little rocks of mosquito bits, when I was buying that and sprinkling it on top of the soil, it was growing mold on top. That could have been for a number of reasons. That could have been because my soil was wet too much, which it always was. I always had mold issues when I had soil. Then I started bottom watering. I figured it out. Like it's been a long journey and I got PTSD from it and I don't want to go back. But what I'm telling you is that the mosquito beat of mosquito bit granules, what they call these, water soluble pouches come through. They come through and they work. But once you get this wet right here, get the packaging wet it's over so be careful if you want to use it like me just don't get the pouch wet because it'll melt everywhere but yeah just cut it off demonstration time sprinkle it up in there i don't know how or why but it work i did a lot but that's because i really don't want no problems so yeah that's my string of turtles good Protected now. I'm not gonna put no um, butterfly in them because that's too much. He's a small little potted plant. He don't need all that distraction. Cute, adorable. And my monstera siltipacana. I think for the purpose of saving time, because I wanted to stick it up to see where we could go with that. I don't know how far we could get with that though. I don't know how far we could get with that. I think I'm gonna just I think I'm gonna just wrap them around deeper inside the soil. That's what we're going to do. Come on. 
Oh, I do need my lay at the bottom. You gotta have me a lay at the bottom. Even if it's just a slight little one. Okay. What's going on with y'all? What's going on with you? Okay, so this is two different plants. We're gonna get you down in there first. Oh, it's three? Oh, it's three. Look at, wow. Three little cuttings. The girls are melting. I'm melting. I'm melting. I am. Sometimes I say it and I really don't be melting, but right now, today, yeah, she's melting. All right, I'm just trying to get that down in there. I'm gonna put a layer of corn just to hold that down. And I'm gonna put this other cutting in here. So they growing this way. I'm trying to plan it how it grows so that I won't have to do this again anytime soon, even though this is a little teeny tiny ass pot. So I might be back by next month, but so right now I should be good. Put another layer on top of that cutting. Oh shit. This is the one I'm supposed to be wrapping around deep into the substrate. Look where we at. We are at the top of the pottery. Reroute. Let me start with this one. I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna put him down in there. That's what I was supposed to be doing. But I do want him to come to the front like that. All right, get your box, girl, get your box. Let me get my box. Okay. One of my plant friends been asking me to make hour long videos. So I'm trying to do an hour long video. I'm trying to do it. I think I could do it, but I'm also trying to complete these tasks as fast as I possibly can. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing my best girl. Please have faith in me. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm really struggling with this plant though. I ain't gonna do a layer between what you call them. I'm not gonna do a layer between cuttings because we took them off. We don't got time for that. We don't have time for that. I'm just making sure all them little nip, them little root nips, the no nips, I'm making sure that they um deep down into the candy holder. All right, here we go. <coughs> Nice. I wanted them to come more so to the front. And I did that, so that's good. Let me get some of that. Let me draw my hand. Put some of this mosquito weeders in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Monstera Silted Pecana, aka the Monstera Rumpled Stiltskin. Last but not least, we have Monstera and Song Guy. All I'm gonna do, honestly, is unpot it, put the chicken strip down in there and repot it. <clears throat> Cause that's how it is, but the chicken strip is just wobbling. Chicken wire, chicken, 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 chicken wire strip, AKA chicken strip. Okay. I'm so proud of this little piece of plant, honestly. Cause it's really doing big things after going through all that it's been through. It used to be a full plant. I got me a big plant from Bros with Holes. Bro, Bros with Holes. I got it from Bros with Holes and killed it. What's that? That's some little rotten. But yeah, I killed it and I saved it and I made, I guess these three little cuttings, but they were three little cuttings. It's blowing up. It's blowing up now. And it's supposed to be the wide form. It's looking real narrow, real thin, but it's supposed to be the wide form. This is the biggest leaf I see thus far. And it's only getting bigger because it's going up, up on that vine right there like that. So yeah. Ooh, 
I'm so excited. But what I do think is that I need a longer chicken strip, being that now I'm putting it in here. And it's about to already be, you know, outgrowing it. So let me cut me a little chicken strip. Oh, and I'm going to probably use the string. I was lazy when I did that. Like, I was super lazy. I didn't really want to be bothered with my plants when I made that little strip. So, all right. What I want. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it straight on this. It's hard. I start to go blind. I start to go blind a little bit. feel like I'm getting a little cross-eyed. Looking at the honeycombs. Oh, oh, she moved over. All right, how big you want it? Damn. Got a nigga wanting you so bad. I'm about to pass out. Want to dig you? And I can't even lie about it. That's too long. It's kind of too long. No, that should be fine. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna put some rocks at the bottom. Pawn at the bottom. Try to keep that still. That's where we at with it right now. I'm gonna probably put a stake in the back of this to keep it straight. I'm gonna start with the biggest, the biggest piece with the nose going up the back. Cause this is who's gonna be climbing. Y'all see what I'm doing? That's gonna be climbing up there like that. Lay a pond on top of these roots. I'm gonna grab my next plant. This one, why are these all shriveled up like that? That looks crazy. I'm gonna put this right here. Please don't get stuck. Do I want this going up the back of this? I guess. I'll have that going up the back of that too. I'm going to put a layer of pine over those roots. And then for the last piece, I feel like I'm going to take the last piece and put it to the left. Like that. See where the little nodey nodes are in case I want him to climb too. Put the nodes facing the chicken strips. I'm doing that's what I'm doing, that's what she's doing. Okay, oh, that's nice. Okay, okay, so from here, I need to do something about this. Do I have a longer stick? I only got, um, what are these, stakes? I only got these this big, and that's not really doing nothing for me, else. That's why I had the two of them for the, um, the two of them for the Anthurium Magnificum. I had them taped together. <laughs> she do be taping stuff together. I'm be struggling. Ooh. ooh, 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 ooh. What can I do? What can I do? I could do something. Don't even have the thing on it. The block. Oh, that's something. All right. I got a real one. Got me a zip tie. I'm gonna zip tie the damn things. Cause I don't feel like getting up, getting the tape. So if I gotta get up again, I ain't coming to sit back down over here. I'm going about my business. So I'm trying to put it as long as that. And I'm gonna tie these mugs as tight as I possibly can. Look at that. Teamwork make the dream work. 
teamwork make the dream work. Let me see if I can find another one. Period. Scissors. Cut the zippies. Make this one tighter. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to take this black Velcro and I'm gonna cut it into thinner, thinner strips. So we can start adhering the monstera to the pole. So I think I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna cut this into three. Then I'm gonna cut those into two. So I'm gonna make six pieces. Right, so we got our little Velcros. Girl, get these rocks up. Messing up the ambiance. Okay, so I'm taking my Velcros and I'm just going to grab the, I'm only gonna adhere the one big one I was about to say I'm doing it from the back, but girl, I'm doing it from the back. Words mean things. Okay. So that's our first little Velcro. I'm gonna just keep doing that all up the back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's what it's looking like up the back. We just have everything Velcro to the chicken strip. And this is what the front is giving. It's going to the left, which I really didn't want it to go to the left, but that's what's happening because I got it to the side of the um, sticks. Yeah, the sticks, the, the stakes, yeah. So that's him. Monstera adding some yai white on. I'm gonna clean up my mess and then we're gonna do the tour. I'm cleaning up as I go now so that when I'm done, I don't gotta do a whole big shebang. I'm learning. All right, so now that I am done fixing up what needed to be fixed up on the shelf, I'm going to now give you a thorough walkthrough of everything that is going on over here. I'm gonna take it from the top to the bottom. All right, so we made it to the top. First, let's start off with my Anthurium, Warraquianum, Esmeralda. What a beauty, but wait, hold on. What a beauty. <laughs> this is her newest leaf right there. It's really big. Not really, really big, but it's really big. This is her old leaf, okay? Um, the reason that I haven't chopped it off yet is because I'm gonna sell it and I don't know if the person will want me to chop this off or not, so I'm just leaving it. It's gonna die off eventually, so when it does that, it does that. If they wanna chop it off, they can chop it off for me. We'll leave it alone. Back there, we have the newly repotted Anthurium Magnificum. He going all over that way. I just do not understand this plant. I did not know or think that it would look like this. <laughs> it's really a hot mess. But yeah, that's the Anthurium Magnificum Verde right here in the front. We have my Anthurium Pendens, which, oh my goodness, I don't even know if I'm ever going to get this plant to look nice because it keeps ripping. It takes so long for the leaves to come out. And in that time, a lot can happen to it. So it has that right there. This rip right here is like damn near cut in half. And yet it's still hardening off. Like, oh my God. And then it's growing a new leaf. So I figured I'm going to sit it right here. You see, I moved all my anthurium up here. I said, this is where it's going to live. 
so it can grow out this new leaf and actually become somebody in life and stop looking raggedy like this. We've been struggling for damn near a year at this point to get it together. But that's my in theory pendants. Everybody up here is potted up the exact same way. Like at the bottom, no drain, okay? Pawn, sphagnum in the mixture. If they already came with like peat moss or soil or whatever it may be, that's the black stuff in there, then I leave it in that. But otherwise, I put it in pawn and sphagnum moss. Oh, so I guess we should move on to this one. This is my Anthurium Regal, the third, who has since been renamed Anthurium Regal James Brown the third because he put out this new leaf. Wow. Say hello. Look at that. Wow. Think of the past, okay? Those are things of the past. We are no longer concerned with those. We're concerned with this leaf right here. Anthurium Regal James Brown the third. Behind him, we got my Anthurium Superbum, which it ain't doing nothing. Let's look down in there. Yeah, it ain't really doing nothing. To the left, we have my Anthurium BGI, which, yep, when it was unfurling, when it was teeny, I chopped the bottom of it off by accident. So it's still growing. It just doesn't have a bottom piece. These are the rest of his leaves, which this plant, it doesn't do anything for me. I don't really like it. And it's not only, it's just, I don't do nothing for me. But over here, we got my Ethereum Archivostachium <laughs> Velvety. Doing good. He's uh, putting out a new leaf. That ain't it, but we'll find it. Oh, here it is. He's putting out this new leaf right here. The family is so excited about it. My Anthurium Marmoratum 2. Put out this leaf right here. I love this plant. I just, it's just kind of boring. Maybe once it gets bigger, it'll do something for me. I'm speaking as if I'm, I probably am going to keep my Anthuriums, y'all. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. I just want them to get bigger. The problem that I'm having with my Anthuriums is that they just so scrawny. Like big philodendron that size up and get big fast you know what i mean these it's just like damn you gotta buy them big in order for you to enjoy them being big and then right here we have the anthurium waraquianum esmeralda number two this is my good one this is the good one yeah she's been out of the tent and everything this was imported a month ago doing good doing swell hasn't put out a new leaf yet hasn't put out a new leaf yet but we wait in this one got a little bit of yellowing on it, but this is the only one with any kind of blemish. This one's perfect. I mean, it got a little bit of crust down here, but that's nothing compared to this. Get up on it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We always got to make note that that's my granddaddy in there. Rest in peace, granddaddy. Love you. Forgot one. This is my Anthurium politiflorum. Let's get back up into the bright light. <sighs> this is my Anthurium politiflorum. Love the plant, don't love mine. I love the shimmeriness of it. It's so cute, it's so pretty, but I just, it's my fault, y'all. I broke like two new leaves off. It's always really my fault, but still, come on. They shouldn't have sent me this either. This is more so like a baby plant. I paid full price for this on the USA website. You know who I bought this from. I bought this from the same place I bought all my plants. At I bought this from the US site and this is what they sent me. What is that? I don't know. Put them right there. Let them live, but also don't touch my Waraquianum Esmeralda. She don't like that. Oh my God, it's so nice. Anyway, we're moving down to the next shelf. Over here, we have a jar of pothos cuttings. This is from one of my big golden pothos. I just have these sitting in water because I like the little bumblebee thing. I, I like that, so I'm just keeping it in water for now. We got the Mandula pothos right here. That's the Monstera soup to Picana. I took my Raphidophora tetrasperma out of the shot glass and put it in this pot. Because it started dying. <laughs> the little shot glass was drying out too fast. So I had to move it. Right here we got my string of turtles. My pride and joy. 
my prides and joys. Look how long it is. So cute. Back here, Monstera adding Soul Yard. It didn't fit on the shelf, so I put it in the back so that the chicken strip and all of this could. Oh. Wow. It's so hot in here that my adhesives are unadhesive. Come on now. Stay up there. What, whatever I was trying to say, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Monstera adding song, y'all. Oh, I was saying that I put that back there coming out the back so I could sit the plant up here. That's just a marble queen pothos. Beautiful. Um, Seba Blue. This is all I have left of my Seba Blue. And, you know, I'm going to keep them because I do know that my Monstera Sutipacania and my Anderson Yard started from the bottom just like this. And look where they are now. Doing good, living good, being good. So, we're going to keep him right there, living his life. Is this leaf dying? No, it's not. Things look yellow over here because the lights are yellow. You know, that's one of the reasons I really don't like these lights because it makes things look dull and a little bit dead. But not really because I do like the lights. Like, it is nice. It's nice. It's just when you get up close with the camera, it, it look crazy. Anyway, over here in the corner, I got a Hartley philodendron. Just hanging out. Doing his best. Doing all that he could do. Back there, that's my Wyeti guy. It's doing good. It's putting out new leaves all up and through. When it comes to, um, what's some things? The mealybugs and all that? I haven't been seeing those on this plant, and I always check this plant. That's what he's giving. Beautiful. And they got these things coming up at the top. Really nice. Down there, I just have a pothos. I need to move it. And one of my videos that I need to get done is repotting him over here because he's in soil, and we don't want that. Okay, so level one. Level two, level three. Now, this is where I have majority. No, this is where I have all of the Hoya. So, first, let's start in the back. We got a string of turtles. That's my big string of turtles. I do need to repot him. I plan to repot him. How does it look with that? Okay. That don't look like nothing. I plan to repot him when I do that patho. So, that's coming up. Right here, we got the satin pathos, which come to find out this ain't even a pathos. Who knew? Yeah, this is him. I guess it's a syndapsis. I don't know why they call it a satin pothos if it's not even a pothos, but here we are. I have him in here. It's just in a cup, and I'll put it in this. A little straggly, little raggedy, but he is who he is. I ain't going to really talk about him. He can't help it. We got that almond hammer right there, that fridge and freezer, because just in case there's any aromas or any smells or anything in the air, we're going to need that taken up out of there. Okay. Alocasia Black Velvet. This is his latest and greatest. It's so nice. He's in what everybody else is in. Semi-hydro, passive hydro. Look at the bottom part at the top. One of his old leaves. Um, Come on. We're going to need something else from you, buddy. One good leaf ain't cutting it. Behind him, we got the... What is this? Hold on, move. Real quick, real quick. Oh, this is my Hoyo Australis. <gasps> I ain't even see this. My Hoya Australis is doing big things. New leaf. You get a new leaf. You get a new leaf. So yeah, this is him. We got that long tendril. Them when I see them. So give me that one. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Where the ass at? Get your asses. Where the rest of them? Where I seen them at? Anything like what? What is this? What's wrong with y'all? These hoes ain't got no manners. That's what's going on. These hoes ain't got no manners. Now when my Hoya Australis is finally trying to be somebody, the bugs is coming for them. Anything white is getting wiped. I seen a big one. I'm going to come through and look thoroughly when we finish the tour. But yeah, my Hoya Australis, he lives right here. I don't even want him to, 
I don't know where them damn bugs is coming from. Like which, which of these plants it could have originated in. So I don't know. I'm trying to see like who I need to keep everybody away from, but I really don't know. So I'm gonna put my whole Australia's back. Hopefully, he make it. Which he gonna make it. It's nothing really detrimental going on. I'm just full of drama. But yeah, that's how they were sitting, living good. I'm love. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, back there, that's my Hoya Carnosa. Y'all seen him earlier, but that's him. I'm trying to see if I see any more little creepy crawlies. And the thing about him is that I don't see these motherfuckers moving. I don't see them move. So that's why I'm like, is this perlite or is it a bug? Girl, it's a bug. Anyway, that's them. The Hoya Carnosa. This is my Philodendron Esmeralda Narrow. Little piece. My Hoya Puba Calyx. I don't even want to pick them up. I don't even want to pick them up. Just in case of them things on there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't see them. I don't see them. All right, it's safe. My Hoya Puba Calyx tried to die on me. We saved his life. There he is. Looking beautiful. Yep. Hoya Puba Calyx. Then we got the microphylo. Y'all seen him. And then that's the snake plant. Right? So what? We did. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Now, this is a breeze, okay? These are my big plants. We only got a couple down here. Back there, that's my, <laughs> well, I was not ready. That's my philodendron black cardinal. Now, it don't look like a black cardinal to me, but they say it was a black cardinal, so I believe them. Philodendron black cardinal, it's getting brown red. Got the little leafy leaf right there. I'm a prop, no, that's one leaf, okay? It was a situation occurring where it was like three leaves coming out at the same time. So that's why this looks like this, because I freed everybody. It was going through something. It was three leaves stuck in the sheath. I said, okay, y'all really being dramatic. But that's him over there in the corner. And next to him, this is a philodendron red congo. Love it. Ben staked it up. I don't see anything growing into the poles. None of my plants that I put on poles grow into the pole. I don't know what the problem is, but I really don't even care. So this is him. He got a new leaf coming out right here. It's one of my cinnamonals. I bought this a long, long, long time ago, and it was way smaller. Yep, ZZ plant over there, getting big. So that's my ZZ plant. Then we have my, what is this again? Refitophora decursiva, which isn't doing anything. It's in mostly sphagnum moss. It's not doing anything. He's almost gotten thrown in the garbage multiple times. I just keep it though, because it's like a space filler. So he's down here, and then we have my pepperoni, a maculosa, which is so nice. It just started throwing mad leaves out. I was giving updates on this plant a lot, but then it started wilding, so I couldn't keep up. We got leaves everywhere, and it's about damn time, because I bought this a long time ago, and it was just giving one leaf, two leaf, one leaf, two leaf. Now it's blowing up. Very pretty. That's him, so last but not least, we got my trio. <laughs> my cilantro basil and what else chives <laughs> now as you can see my chives ain't doing too good basil bussing basil bussing the cilantro just came back to life it just started growing these leaves on it so um this is the urgent message for kiki soda of urban girl gardening what i'm supposed to do with this now <laughs> i put this at family dollar i didn't know what i was doing i just knew i needed to grow me something edible real quick just to try it out i just wanted to try it on so now that we're here where do we go from here is it really over for my chives <laughs> is it over for my chives or what <laughs> or what or what what i'm supposed to do with these little strings you let me know like i said basil bussin i still don't know what to do with it like is this full grown basil can you eat this can you use this i don't know smell like basil I'm gonna be honest. Smell like basil. So I'm feeling like we made it with the basil, like we here. But do I leave it here or should I repot my basil? Please do let me know what I need to do with my herb garden. This is all she got. <laughs> this is all I got to my name as far as herbs is concerned. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one.